This video will test pilot's knowledge of instrument flying and will review practice questions regarding basic attitude instrument flying. These questions may be asked on the instrument rating written exam or instrument check ride. Approximately what percent of the indicated vertical speed should be used to determine the number of feet to lead the level off from a climb to a specific altitude? See Chapter 7 of the Instrument Flying Handbook to find the answer to this question. The Instrument Flying Handbook states that pilots should lead the level off from a climb at 10% of the indicated vertical speed. If a pilot were climbing at 500 feet per minute, then they should start leveling off 50 feet below the assigned altitude since 50 feet is 10% of indicated vertical speed of 500 feet. The correct answer is C. Which instruments should be used to make a pitch correction when you have deviated from your assigned altitude? The illustration on the left can be found in Chapter 7 of the Instrument Flying Handbook. As you can see, the primary pitch instruments are the altimeter, vertical speed indicator, and attitude indicator. The correct answer is C. If a standard rate turn is maintained, how much time would be required to turn to the right from a heading of 090 degree to a heading of 270 degrees? A standard rate turn is 3 degrees per second. To find the answer to this question, subtract 90 from 270 which equals 180 degrees. Divide 180 by 3 to get 60 seconds which equals 1 minute. The correct answer is C, 1 minute. What is the first fundamental skill in attitude instrument flying? During attitude instrument training the pilot must develop three fundamental skills. These skills must be performed in order or else they will not be effective. The order is instrument cross-check, instrument interpretation, and aircraft control. See Chapter 6 of the Instrument Flying Handbook for more information on fundamental skills in attitude instrument flying. If a half-standard rate turn is maintained, how long would it take to turn 135 degrees? The standard rate of turn is 3 degrees per second. Therefore, a half-standard turn is 1.5 degrees. To find the answer, take 135 divided by 1.5 to get 90 seconds. 90 seconds equals 1 minute and 30 seconds. The correct answer is A. Which illustration indicates a slipping turn? According to the Instrument Flying Handbook, when the aircraft is in a turn and the ball is on the same side as the wing low side, the aircraft is in a slip. Conversely, when the ball is on the opposite side of the wing low side, then the aircraft is in a skid. Image 1 represents a skid and image 2 shows a slip. Since the question is asking what figure represents a slip, the correct answer is B, figure 2. For maintaining level flight at constant thrust, which instrument would be the least appropriate for determining the need for a pitch change? While the attitude indicator, vertical speed indicator and altimeter are all important for determining pitch, the vertical speed indicator and altimeter will be better at quantifying the rate of climb or descent and the subsequent pitch change needed. See Chapter 7 of the Instrument Flying Handbook for more information on the pitch instruments in flight. In rolling out of a turn, to be sure the turn is stopped, use the As you can see from the diagram on the right which can be found in Chapter 7 of the Instrument Flying Handbook, the primary bank instrument is the heading indicator. The correct answer is C. What is the correct sequence for recovery from the unusual attitude indicated? The flight instruments are showing the airplane in a descending right turn. The vertical speed indicator is showing a descent rate greater than 1,000 feet per minute and the altimeter would indicate a rapid drop in altitude. Since the airspeed indicator is showing a high airspeed, the first step to correct from this unusual flight attitude would be to reduce power. The pilot would then need to level the wings and raise the nose to bring the aircraft back to a level attitude. The correct answer to question 9 is B. When using the selected radial cross-check technique, a pilot spends 80 to 90% of flight time looking at which flight instrument. 
According to the Instrument Flying Handbook, when using the selected radial cross-check technique, a pilot should spend 80 to 90 percent of flight time looking at the attitude indicator, while only taking quick glances at the other flight instruments. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training and aviation-related educational videos.